Yeah, you see right. You see right. Since Saturday. I couldn't help but note your pain. My pain? It runs deep. Share it with me. When I was a young boy, growing up in the ghetto, hanging out on corners, singing with the fellas, looking for the cute chicks, trying to find me big fun, looking for some trouble, for anyone who gave me some, I was young and crazy, in the ghetto. Mirror, mirror on the wall, tell me mirror, what is wrong, can it be my daylight clothes or is it just my daylight song? What's up, YouTube? Lock out, man. In the building at night. At night. I finally made it here to uh, Craft and uh, Champagne. Uh, coming off of a of a wild, wild weekend, man. Uh, couldn't even tell you how it is, but. Before I go into it, I just want to thank all my subscribers, all my supporters, all my coffee supporters. Thank you very much uh, for having your boys back. I really do appreciate all the love that you guys are showing me and uh, showing my channel. I really do appreciate all of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, Shout out to my man Ice Water uh, for uh, giving me some shine on his channel. You know what I'm saying? Salute to the salute to that homie. Go ahead and uh, check out his channel, Ice Water 815. Just want to say thanks. You know to the new subscribers, man. You guys are great. Let me, let me tell you guys what what happened. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it was crazy crazy weekend uh let's let's rewind it let's let's go back uh i had picked up this load from uh from uh kellogg's in indiana uh columbia city indiana uh picked up that load on saturday it was heading up to walmart in mankato so i uh picked up the load of course, it was a live load, and uh, I don't know, was, oh, okay. Yeah, you got you got to be careful. <laughs> got to be careful walking around here. You got to see. I got my yellow vest on. I, I can't be walking through these yards. These yard dudes is crazy when they be driving through here. See? Yeah, they picked up the load. Got on the got on the grind. I figured to myself. I said, Yeah, I'm gonna. I want to make it up to Minnesota today. You know, this is Saturday, right? I looked at the uh, appointment time. Now, when I looked at the appointment time, it says 15, 15.30. So I'm, I'm thinking that since I picked it up on a Saturday, I thought it was due on Sunday, right? I get the load, I make it, I, I, I drive all night, and made it up to uh, Mankato at about uh, nine, ten-ish. I, I know it was super late. So I got up there and I'm thinking, well, this ain't due until tomorrow at 3.15. So I went over to uh, Canterbury Park and posted up there. Let me switch over right quick and tell you guys what happened at Canterbury? YouTube, you ain't gonna believe this, man. You is not going to believe this. I, I had to grind hard. I had to grind hard. I wish I can, I can tell you some hands that was played during this grind session, and I do mean grind session. This was a grind session. 
Canterbury wasn't it wasn't good. Serious, serious grind overnight. Left up out of Canterbury, got my money back. Never take me alive, I'm getting high with my profile Cop don't need suckers, time to die Even So I got finished dropping off this load Got my paperwork, unfortunately I don't have a pre-plan yet Back to Saturday Saturday is now Sunday So, you know, left Canterbury in the morning I thought my appointment wasn't until Uh, 3.15 all right, cool. 3.15, I'm over at uh, Walmart. So I get out of the truck, take the paperwork in, you know. The guard was like, yo, uh, you're late. I'm looking at him like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm, I'm not late. I'm 3.15, I'm on time. 15.15 or 15.30, doesn't matter, 3 o'clock. So he was like, no, this wasn't due until yesterday at 3.15. I said, what do you mean yesterday at 3.15? I said, I picked it up yesterday. Yeah, it, it was supposed to be here at 3.15 on a Saturday. Do what you guys got to do, you know, it's a late fee or something like that. You know, let, give me the amount so I can go and tell my fleet manager, you know, how much it is, get me in the door and get me up out of here. No! Well, it didn't happen that way, y'all. He said, and I quote, uh, you gotta call back at about seven o'clock to see if we can get you in the door later on tonight. I was like, seven o'clock, are, are you serious? He was like, yeah. I was like, okay, cool, no problem. I'm still cool. I'm still chill, y'all. Seven o'clock rolls, you know, I roll down to the truck stop because that particular Walmart, you, you, you can't stay on the property. I ride down to the truck stop and went back to sleep because, you know, the grind session that I had the previous night, you know, I was still a little bit tired. So I was kind of glad that I was I was able to get some more sleep. Called called up there for the for the delivery. He told me to call you back at seven o'clock. Uh, is it possible that you can get me in at uh you know get me in tonight? No, we can't uh, we can't get you in tonight. I don't have nobody to unload the load that you're on. What do you mean you? But you told me to call you back at seven. Well, you gotta call your fleet manager and or your dispatcher or your broker or whoever. You know, you gotta let them know that they gotta reschedule. I get on a horn. I let uh I let the night dispatch know that Walmart is refusing to unload me. So I said I said uh, is it alright that I bring it up to the yard and drop this load right quick? The yard is about. An hour to an hour and a half away. I'm under the impression that I'm taking it up to the yard to T-call and hook up to my Illinois low. Said they got it rescheduled for the next day, which was Monday. So I'm driving up to the yard. I made it up to the yard. I get ready to T-call it, but I got a satcom message saying, hold up, don't T-call it yet, because we might need you to make the delivery tomorrow thinking to myself like i want to make the delivery why did i bring it up here to the yard that's trucking right so like i said i i just do what i have to do you know to to get the job done so I made it up to the yard. I overnighted. So I'm up at the yard. I, I looked at I looked at my satcom. I sent the message in to my fleet manager, letting them know was what went on. Me and my fleet manager, you know, we're under the impression that hey, you know, you I I don't have nobody up here to you know to take the load, so you're gonna have to do it. So I'm like, no problem. I got some things to do up at the mall up in the up in the Twin Cities over at Mall of America. So, I got a chance to go over to Mall of America. 
Walmart was about maybe uh, uh, an hour or 40, about 40 minutes away. Now I'm getting ready to go. Broadcom comes back on and I, it shows a new message. Now the time has been changed again. This appointment time says 9.15 on Tuesday. You heard me, Tuesday. Let me say it again, Tuesday. All right, so I call up or I didn't call up my fleet manager because you know he had his own set of problems. So I, I sent the I sent the test message or the email in to him and he you know he responded back saying, Well, this is the first time I'm hearing of it. Let me let me double check, hang tight, and uh we'll see what's up. Well, maybe about 15, maybe about 15, 20 minutes later, he did come back to confirm that the appointment time was changed again until Tuesday. Yep, I am still stuck up here in uh, in Minnesota with the Walmart load on my back, and I wasn't able to uh, get it off my back on Monday. I had to wait to Tuesday. So. Unfortunately, I couldn't overnight at the mall because you know the mall got signs everywhere saying no truck, uh, no overnight truck parking. So I decided to go back to uh, uh, Canterbury because you know, of course, they got truck parking. I might have to come back over here tomorrow and uh, look up to an empty. I, I get back to the uh, I get back to the truck. And I say it's around five o'clock ish now, like five, five thirty. So I get back to the truck and, and for some odd reason something just told me to call the manager just to see if I can get in there early. You know, I don't know why, but uh supposed to be there at nine fifteen. I was kinda wondering if you can get me in early. Um he said, Well, give me the load number. The load number that I gave him was still showing 315 on Saturday. He came back, he was like, nobody ain't reschedule you for nothing. I was like, wait, I'm sitting here looking at the time. It says 915 tonight, dude. I, I got the reschedule right here. Why you guys don't have it? Don't you have another number that starts with a three? I said, yeah, I do. But give me that number. I gave him that number bingo that number was a different time you guys want to know what time it was a 7 15 let me repeat that 7 15 i was like wait 7 15 he was like yeah 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 your appointment time is at 7 15 this evening no my appointment time is at 9 15 at night dude he was like yo bro you can bring that in at 9.15 at night if you want to. Uh, there's no guarantee that you're going to get unloaded at 9.15 at night. Man, are you kidding me? I was glad that I did because if I would have waited maybe an hour, be, I mean an hour to pull off, I wouldn't have made it on time. Then I would have got there late and then it would have been a whole nother scenario with that low. They didn't get finished with me till maybe about... I got there at seven. I got out of the door. I got out of the door at midnight, close to one o'clock. Woke up in the morning, went in there, washed up and everything. Uh, got some breakfast. And then I made it up to uh, New Orleans and uh, picked up the uh, picked up the load that I just got finished dropping off. I was up in uh, I was up in Minnesota, stuck on a craft load for I mean since Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, four days, four days, man. You know it is what it is, y'all. I mean I know I know you guys will probably say in the comments like, yo, that's some BS and all like that, and yeah, it is. It is some BS. You know, it's miscommunications all around the board i have a good fleet manager my fleet manager always take care of me which he did today but yeah that's what happened that's what happened but that's it guys that's it guys um 
That's what happened to me this past weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I'm right here at Planet Fitness. So I'll be getting up in the morning to go up in there and get a workout in. Yo, don't forget to hook me up with some coffee. I really do appreciate it. And uh, till next time, guys, y'all take it easy. I'll holler at you later and I'll come back at you with another video. Peace.